since this is Women's Equality Day, Wendy, would yeah, you like he, to participate? I was wondering if he was going to take a <laughs> breath. <laughs> so, <laughs> one of the things that I think is so uh, kind of funny, I should say, is that uh, that we have a Women's Equality Day, because in my opinion, every day is Women's Equality Day, right? Exactly. And, I, I'm, and I'm When you work with fine gentlemen fr- like yeah, us. That's, yeah. that's what makes it all happen. <laughs> So <laughs> the thing that I think um, is, is, is unusual is I've never felt um, through my whole career, I've never felt as if I was being pushed down or dragged down or held down because th- I was a female. And I think it's because of maybe the type business I've been in, you know, when you're in sales, you eat what you kill. So, mm-hmm. you know, you've got that going for you, but I never felt held down or held back. Did either of you um, go through anything like that? Heather. <laughs> well, I, I think it's interesting because, you know, this is a conversation that we have at our office and it is kind of a man's world, but I it, I don't even recognize or acknowledge that until it's someone attitude. me. Mm-hmm. And I, I have to tell you, I was raised by a Marine Corps pilot. He had three girls. And he raised us like a drill sergeant. And you know, he was just really, hey, you want something, you need to work for it. No one's going to give you anything. So I, it doesn't, I don't even acknowledge that. It, but when you look around, there's very few women in the industry, especially mm-hmm. as a fund manager, you know, in the private money space. And, you know, you go to Collective Genius, go to Freedom Founders. Most trust advisors are men, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I, it doesn't seem to affect me. And I don't feel like I've ever been held back for it. Um, I do think there's a lot of opportunity for women. I I get a lot of our clients that really like actually speaking to a woman opposed to no offense, Bill and Jonathan, um, <laughs> but females, you know, and so sure. it's, it's interesting. That is. How about so you, Christy? I will say I, um, so I worked for a very large mortgage company, um, which shall remain nameless since they're still in the business and they're giant. Um, and while it didn't affect my income because I was in sales and I was one of the top producers in the company, it definitely affected my, my ability to get promoted. Um, all the team leaders were male. It was very male dominated. There were no female team leaders at the time. Um, and that's actually kind of what drove me to go out on my own because mm. I just realized, you know, if I wanted to do what I wanted to do, I had to make my own path. And I grew up with 11 uncles, two older brothers. I was raised like a boy kind of. So, um, you know, I never felt internally like I was at a disadvantage, but I definitely saw it out there. And I had only experienced, you know, that world for a few years. Um, And I've always kind of taken being a woman as an advantage in the market because it's different. And um, and I've always, you know, used it to my advantage. So I think that I I definitely see it and um, I've experienced it and I've definitely experienced it from buying properties in commercial real estate um, like my first office complex that I bought, um, the owner wouldn't even address me. He would only address my male uh, <laughs> business banker. He wouldn't even look at me in the eye the whole time. I'm asking him questions and he's answering <laughs> the guy who's sitting next to me. Um, but again, I use that to my advantage. I mean, I knew that that was going to help me kind of negotiate a better deal. And um, I brought a gentleman with me when I was touring the property because I, I just had this feeling he was a, he was an old white guy. No offense to all of y'all, but um, and an attorney, and he called just his wife. Like an old white guy, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, I uh, I've, I've definitely experienced, and then I, I also had when I was going to buy my first um, my first commercial property. When I told the male broker what I wanted, he actually said, well, honey, you know, this is when you would tell your clients they're being unrealistic. And (laughs) contractors treat me differently where they tell me they don't want me to break a nail. I mean, it's, you know, it's like ridiculous, but um, again, I've just kind of never let it bother me. I just, you know, just keep moving forward. It's, it's, it is what it is. So I think that's what makes the difference is it's all in the attitude. Um, and I love what you said about um, 
take, taking advantage of it and uh, using it as a tool um, rather than than whining about it because you can you can really uh, take people off guard. Yeah. And they're like, whoa, wait a minute. You 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 know how to hang sheetrock or <laughs> it's, the it's best thing is being underestimated. I mean, yeah. I've made probably millions of dollars off of the hair twirl clothes of like what? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a great position to be in. People constantly overestimate the male's intelligence mm -hmm. in these in these situations and they underestimate the females best place to be is being underestimated. That's the mm -hmm. absolute best place to be. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They don't see you coming. Yeah. Completely so, unexpected. It, it is. And, and another challenge I think as women that we have, we have as women is, you know, we're in most cases the caregiver in our home as well with the kids and, you know, cleaning the house and um, going to the grocery store and all kinds of things like that, that, um, our male counterparts don't always have to deal with. Now we'll say men are a lot more involved in their families that Jonathan's very involved in his family. I got called a real hands-on dad. Yeah, he, <laughs> he is. He yeah. actually caught his baby in the bathroom when she was born. <laughs> wow. That's a cool story. Yeah. That's great. But, but I think, you know, that's just a, another challenge that we have to deal with to not only be great at what we do for a living, but also be mom and take care of the household, right? Yeah, well, and the other challenge I think I've, I've had is being strong and opinionated can also come across as being not very nice. Yeah, they call us itch bags. <laughs> yeah, I have a few nicknames around right. here, and I'm just a very direct person. Like, I will just walk right in someone's office. Okay, what do we got going on? You know, and that does, I have, I've had to learn over the last few years to really like, work on my presentation a little bit <laughs> well and, and, and know who I'm speaking to and how I like Lee and I work great together. We're both very direct. We took a personality test here and funny enough, we were exactly the same, but not everybody <laughs> communicates that way. So that's probably been my biggest challenge as a female is really, you know, still being strong and opinionated and, you know, um, strong in my beliefs, but learning how to communicate with different types of personalities too. So that's awesome. Definitely benefits and definitely challenges for sure. Mm -hmm. That that is where that predictive index uh, test comes in very handy. It was interesting. Yeah, you 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 know everyone's personality, and what's more important is how how do you deal with those different personality types? Mm -hmm. and, and the worst part about our to me about our current society is that. Apparently, our skin continues to get thinner and thinner. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh. Now, instead of trying not to be offended, people are looking for ways to be offended. <laughs> and it's, That's uh, their problem. Yeah, That's right. No, no, I agree. I, we are who we are. And, uh, we, we love everyone. And if you don't love us, that's okay, too. Well, I have to, I have to tell this great story. My, my parents are... 83 okay. and they're going to Costco. I got to share this. They go into Costco. They're at the checkout line. There's a girl standing there bagging. She's got half her head shaved and she's got rainbow colors in her hair. And so my 83 year old dad walks up and starts singing somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was a little miffed <laughs> and walked away. And I'm thinking, gosh, if you're going to be that bold in your life, you need to be prepared yeah. to be sung to. <laughs> I think I'd really like your dad. He's a great guy. I love my mother was mortified, but I laughed. I thought it was pretty funny. I like that. 